Hello, this is Richard Silverstein for Tikkun Olam. A highly placed Israeli source elaborates on a Ynet News report saying Israel destroyed an advanced Shoval drone that was on a routine mission over the sea between Tel Aviv and Netanya. Israel did indeed destroy the drone, one of the most advanced in its fleet. Here is what its manufacturer had to say about it after its October 2012 launch. Quote, the drone will help improve Israeli naval and air force recognition of hostile ships and aircraft, even if they are 300 kilometers away, with radar that can reach Turkey, Cyprus, and Egypt. It can intercept any object within a few minutes. It has satellite communications abilities, meaning footage it takes will be broadcast online to distant locations like Paris, the official said, unquote. Instead of Paris, though, you should have added Tehran, or even the Baqa, since my source tells me that either Hezbollah or Iran hacked the navigation system of the Shoval and took control of it. It's very possible those who hijacked the drone could see whatever it was seeing and download any intelligence data it had collected. Once the drone became unresponsive, the IAF realized either it could be crashed into a sensitive Israeli target or else hijacked to Lebanon or Syria. At that point, the IAF launched flares over Israeli territory in a search to find it. If you live along the coast, you might have seen evidence of that a few nights ago. The uh, Air Force must have found the errant drone, which enabled them to destroy it. Further su support for my source may be found in the decision to ground the entire Shoval fleet. The hijackers discovered a weakness in the, in the drone's software control, and they can't be flown again until that's fixed. Last year, the Iranians claimed to have done precisely the same thing to U.S. Predator drone over Iranian territory. Though we claimed there had been a navigation malfunction, our protestations sounded hollow. The current incident over Israel points to a hitherto unknown or unappreciated ability by the Iranians to penetrate Israeli aerial guidance systems. Around the same time the Shoval drone up uh, upgrade was announced, Hezbollah launched a drone which penetrated 30 miles into Israeli territory near the Dimona nuclear reactor. A few weeks ago, Israel shot down another drone that may have been launched from Lebanon. I should note that Hezbollah, with the likely help of the Iranians, compromised the IDF communication systems to devastating effect during the 2006 Lebanon war. In 1997, Hezbollah intercepted the transmission of Israeli aerial surveillance images, which allowed the militant group to ambush IDF Navy commandos, an incident in which 12 of them were killed. At the time, the army told the public the ambush was the result of a lucky break. Then Hassan Nasrallah released the stolen images, proving it had hacked the system. The IDF even had to acknowledge that some intelligence data wasn't even encrypted, thus allowing it to be intercepted. Israel likes to tout its military invincibility and its superiority over its enemies, but incidents like this remind us there are large chinks in the IDF's armor. A second scoop reported by my source is the secret mission Israel opened in a Persian Gulf state in the past year, as indicated by the Knesset budget. This secret mission was in the United Arab Emirates, or UAE. Israeli media were prohibited from telling their readers anything other than that it was a Gulf state. Israel is eager to create a sense of isolation and encirclement around Iran, and what better way to do this than make common cause with one of Iran's enemies, UAE. The purpose of the new mission is to coordinate military and intelligence functions for containing Iran. The UAE has been a critical player in a growing alliance among Saudi Arabia, Israel, and the U.S. in reining in Iranian ambitions in the region. The U.S. just announced a $10 billion arms sale to all three, which is designed to offer a military deterrent. The Times of Israel even offered a claim by an Israeli government source that a formal alliance, which he called a, quote, moderate cre crescent, unquote, is contemplated for the region. It would be much like NATO, which was intended to offer a, a, to counteract the Soviet threat. This regional alliance would combat the supposed Iranian threat. All of this is part of the nasty covert war going on among these various countries. I've warned many times that it isn't far from going from a covert to an overt war. All it takes is one catastrophic failure, one stupid mistake. This is a tinderbox waiting to erupt. This is Richard Silverstein for T. Conan Lund.